Hi, in this sequence of videos we're going to be looking at the AQA Mechanics 2 January 2013 exam paper. Uh, while you're watching these videos I'd like you to remember to try the questions out yourself first. Work through answers as you watch the questions and make sure that um, if there's at any point that you know how to finish off the question yourself, um, go ahead and pause the video and finish off the question. If you'd like any further help um, with your maths, you can visit my website at www.mathup.co.uk. You can um, connect to me via my YouTube channel. Um, you can follow me on Twitter or you can um, follow me on Facebook. Right, so um, question number one. Tim is playing cricket. He hits a ball at a point A. Um, the speed of the ball immediately after being hit is 11 metres per second. OK, uh, the ball strikes a tree at a point B. The height of B is 5 metres above the height of A. The ball is to be modelled as, as a particle of mass 0 0.16 kilograms, being acted upon only by gravity. So for part A, we need to find the um, initial kinetic energy of the ball. So I'm going to use the formula half mu squared. Um, just give myself a little bit more room. Okay, so for part A, I'm going to say, well, um, use blue. I know the kinetic energy is equal to a half um u squared because it's the initial kinetic energy of the ball um so that's going to be equal to a half and m we are told is going to be 0 0.16 kilograms is that 0 0.16 and u is going to be 11 meters per second so that's going to be 11 squared so my kinetic energy works out to be, um, and if I put that into my calculator, I get 9.68 joules. Okay, part B. Um, it says calculate the potential energy gained by the ball as it moves from point A to point B. So my potential energy, um, the formula is going to be mgh mass times gravity times by the height so um, my mass again is 0 0.16 gravity we're going to take to be 9.8 and my height is going to be but it's got a height of 5 meters above the height of a um, and because we're looking for the um, potential energy gained by the ball as it moves from A to point B, um, that's going to be our reference point, so I'm going to use 5. Okay, and again, if I um, stick all that into my calculator, I'm going to get 1.84 joules. Seven point eight four joules, I should say. Okay, so um, that's part B. Now part C, and I'll come over here for part C. Um, for the first part of part C, we are asked to find the kinetic energy of the ball immediately before it strikes the tree. So the ball strikes the tree at point B, and that's at a height of 5 metres above the height of A. And we want to know what the kinetic energy is at that point. Well, we know initially our kinetic energy was 9.68 joules. And when um, we calculated the potential energy gained by the ball as it moves from point A to point B, so when it strikes the tree, the potential energy it has gained is 7.84 joules. Now, this is also going to be, uh, this is also going to represent the kinetic energy lost. So we had 9.68 joules to start with, and we have lost this much. We have lost 7.84 joules. 
and we need to take that away. So that's going to tell me um, my kinetic energy um, at this particular point is going to be 1.84 joules. So just before it hits the tree, or as it strikes the tree, we're going to have a kinetic energy of 1.84 joules. Just to clarify what I've done there, I've said that this is the kinetic energy lost because it's the potential energy that's been gained. Okay, part two. It says, hence find the speed of the ball immediately before it strikes the tree. Well, if the kinetic energy at this point is 1.84 joules, um, I can say, well, um, that means that half mv squared, half mv squared, so half times the mass times the final velocity squared is going to be equal to 1.84. Um, and if I um, stick in the values that I know, that means that a half times the mass is 0 0.16 times v squared is equal to 1.84 which means v squared is going to be equal to um, that works out to be 23 um, in which case that v is going to be 4.8 meters per second okay so that's going to be our um, the speed of the ball immediately after it strikes the tree. Okay, um, thanks very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.